in the Senate that didn't even get a vote. Uh, and of course, that President Trump told Republicans not to vote for because he said it didn't go far enough. This is their way of saying, look, we've tried to take really bold action through an executive order. The court stopped us. Now it's up to you, Congress. And they want that message going into the November election, especially if those numbers rise along the border. We do have to point out, though, numbers have remained slower and steady since December. We saw historic highs in December, over 12,000 a day. Since then, they've remained around 4,000 to 5,000 per day along the southern border. Here in Rio Grande Valley, this used to be one of the busiest spots on the border, Willie. Anytime we wanted to come down, see what was happening on the border, see, I've seen hundreds of migrants packed under a bridge just beyond this wall. Today, pretty quiet. We've seen a few Border Patrol vans roll through. They might be hearing uh, some small groups of migrants coming through. But by and large, the border has been quieter this year than we saw, especially toward the end of last year. I just have to point that out because sometimes I think we forget about that when we're talking about border politics. No, it's important.